I am Tanya McCall, the director at MSU Cavs Extension. I have been in this position for two years, and I've been at Cavs Extension for eight years. MSU Cavs E stands for Center for Advanced Vehicular Systems Extension. And when we started up, it was really focused on helping Nissan get established, doing some simulation and modeling to help them lay out the plant and provide them with some input and some engineering support, uh, along with some of their training. And then over the years, it just transitioned as we join MEP to offering similar services to companies across the state. So CAS Extension focuses on three areas in the work that we do. Our technical assistance projects we provide to industry, the professional development training that we provide, and uh, applied research uh, in specific areas associated with industry. So we offer anything from uh, highly technical classes with uh, statistical problem solving. We also offer project management and facilitation. Our two flagship classes are our Lean Manufacturing class and our Six Sigma class. Both of those uh, classes have projects, so the students not only learn about the tools associated with Lean and Six Sigma, but they learn how to implement that in projects that they have at their own companies. My name is Billy Peacock. I'm the Associate Director at MSU Cavs Extension. I've been with Cavs Extension for a little over six years now. Just this year we began an Industry 4.0 uh, initiative. We're trying to acquire robots, uh, cobots, and some automation machine monitoring technology that we can educate and inform Mississippi manufacturers about the technology that's available and where it's going and hopefully give them some ability to make informed decisions on how they can best spend their money and invest in the new technology. The site master planning is probably one of the, the bigger ones as companies grow and have uh, need to look at relocating or expanding operations, there's a, a time period when they need a, uh, additional manufacturing engineer support, and that's really where we have a good opportunity to make a difference that we can bring in uh, engineers and support them for a short period of time. I'm Andrew Frank, president of BFT Filing Solutions in Kosciuszko. We make paper-based uh, filing products. We've been in this building since my dad founded a company in 86. It's an old, old building, over 100 years. We've got a lot of water problems and doesn't go well with paper. And I was struggling with doing something different, uh, maybe moving. We went to look at uh, Mitchell Metals building because they were in the process of moving. Uh, the building didn't work for us, but the owner of Mitchell Metal, uh, Julie Taylor, uh, told me I should reach out to Billy Peacock and his team that they were helping them with their move and that they might be able to help us. So they started off with a site review uh, where they came in with all these cameras on tripods and it was amazing, honestly. They took pictures of everything and measured everything and then they were able to bring that back to us. You know, it wasn't, didn't just do the building, it did building equipment, inventory, and they were able to bring that back to us in a CAD uh, and then we were able to play with that, move stuff around and see if it would actually fit if we were to move. And we already owned another building in town that was a much better building. We just didn't think it would work there. Um, after Billy's team helped us with the site review, uh, we actually discovered we had plenty of room there. I'm Keith Dunham, founder and CEO of Lockers Manufacturing located here in Batesville, Mississippi. So we specialize in making high-end custom metal fabrication locker systems and storage systems throughout the country. And so we make any type of storage system for the military. We also focus on educational. We also focus on the healthcare. And we work with a lot of Fortune 5 companies as well for their different type of locker applications that they may have. So we have been working uh, on a minor scale, but we went full throttle and uh, relocated our facilities from uh, Tennessee to the state of Mississippi. They did an excellent job recruiting us down here. Uh, started working with the Cavs program as part of that process from the very beginning. We really worked with the Cavs of basically how we wanted to lay out the facility, how we wanted to position the equipment, how we we're going to align to our processes to be able to do high-end custom product but also be a production facility as well. We have to get so much out every day. So they really worked on, okay, what's the geometry of how we're going to lay out the machines on the floor and what's going to be that configuration and to be able to max out the facility. We actually bought an existing facility that had set empty for a while and revitalized that facility, kind of bringing it back to life. And Cavs was with us from the first step. So they did a lot of 3D imaging. We laid out everything on a set of drawings, really looked at the different paths of how the product would flow to be able to maximize efficiency. Once you understand the need of the company and being able to provide something um, that satisfies that need and gives them some of the 
uh, impacts that they're looking for. Those make us feel very good about the things that we do here at the center. If you can help them you know, implement some continuous improvement activities, maybe reduce their lead time, reduce their inventory, be more responsive to their customer, and see them grow as a result of that, and help them be stronger manufacturers, add more jobs in the state of Mississippi. To know that you've been a part of that is very uh, satisfying. Concerning Billy and his team, I can't say enough about those guys. And, and when Billy and I first met, after we did the site review, um, I told him then that I really saw our relationship with them being a many year relationship. I wanted him to help us create a culture of continuous improvement here. Billy gets it. His team gets it. But Cavs did a really good job working with our team, letting them know that they're not here to dictate to them, but really complement what our plan was and not have to totally re-engineer to their plan, but really kind of understand who we were, where we were at within the process. And Cavs and, and, and Billy Peacock, specifically with Cavs, did an unbelievable job.